Sharon, your life fulfillment coach. And before I get started today, I just really want to say happy holidays. Yay! <laughs> Christmas is actually my favorite time of year. I just love how magical it feels. I love all the Christmas decorations, the Christmas music, and just really coming together with family and friends. I know that this year can also be really stressful for a lot of people, and I know that there can sometimes be changes when it comes to Christmas this year. And that's why today's video, I really want to chat with you about how we can start accepting new holiday traditions. Because even for me this year, my sister, she normally hosts Christmas at her house. And this year, her and her family are actually going to the Bahamas. <laughs> I know, it's not really fair. I'm slightly jealous, I'm not gonna lie. And my other sister is spending this Christmas at her in-laws. So that really just leaves my mom and I, and we were kinda like, well, are we just gonna hang out, just the two of us, or how could we make this Christmas, you know, special this year with just the two of us. And so we're actually going to be spending the day or a couple days with our relatives. So with my aunts and uncles and cousins, uh, which is something I haven't done since I was a little girl. I barely even remember, but I'm actually really excited about it. It'll be something different for sure. And I'll miss my, my sisters and their families, but there's going to be something really special about this Christmas as well and being able to spend it with different people in a different way. Now, I know for a lot of people, accepting new holiday traditions can be really challenging, um, especially if you're used to things being a certain way every year. Uh, but whether you have, you know, your kids are visiting in-laws, whether they're going traveling or just spending Christmas in a different way, I want you to know that there are ways that we can feel better about it and ways that we can actually accept the changes that are happening. So the first thing I want you to think about is you can create new traditions. So I really want you to use your imagination here. I want you to get creative and start thinking of all the things that maybe you didn't allow yourself to think about because Christmas was just always the same every year. So, you know, maybe this year looks a little bit differently for you in terms of maybe you're going to invite different people over. Maybe you're going to go traveling or maybe you want to volunteer somewhere this year. But as soon as you start actually using your imagination and start thinking about how you can make this Christmas special, it's amazing when it's amazing to see that you can let go of those old ideas and those old traditions because you're starting to get excited about something else. The next thing I want you to keep in mind is not to take it personally. It's really easy for us to take offense when other people decide to spend Christmas elsewhere. We all of a sudden have these negative thoughts go through our head like, well, don't you love me? Don't you want to spend time with me? Am I not good enough? And we end up taking on this role of a victim. And when we start to do that, we start to actually put guilt on that other person and it can actually cause a lot of tension in the relationship. So I want you to really be aware of the words that you choose and how you go about dealing with the situation and expressing how you're feeling to that other person because at the end of the day, is it worth, worth creating a lot of tension in the relationship based out of one day of the year? And the last tip is I want you to think of your why. Why is this tradition so important to you in the first place? I think a lot of the time when it comes to traditions, it's just, well, that's the way it's always been, so why wouldn't it be that way? But that's not really a reason. That's just something we're conditioned to be used to. And I want you to start thinking deeper as to why this tradition is actually really important to you. What does this give you? What feeling does this tradition give you? For example, maybe you really love the tradition of just bringing everybody together and having a nice big Christmas meal together. It doesn't mean that you still can't create that. If you really love that feeling of connection and community, it's still possible that you can invite other people over to create that same vibe. So really ask yourself why. Why is this tradition important? What is it about it? And then try and find ways that you can recreate it. I really hope that these tips help. I know that so many of us are always shifting and changing with you know, our family going other places and new things happening, um, kids having kids of their own and wanting to have Christmas at their house. So just some things for you to think about. I hope that it helps and I wish you all the best this holiday season. Sending you guys lots and lots of love and I will see you guys next week right before the new year. Um, I'm gonna talk to you guys about how you can make 2017 your best year yet. I'll see you guys soon.